One of the biggest films of 1994 was the very unlikely live action adaptation of The Flintstones. Uh, this is a movie that if you asked most people, they would probably be like, oh yeah, that's like a terrible bomb. But it was one of the highest grossing movies of the year. It was an absolute phenomena. It cost a ton to make, but absolutely made it back. And definitely, as a young person, you are inundated with so much advertising, so much marketing for this film. 1994 was really the year of the Flintstones. Mother, Fred is a loving husband and a good provider. Oh, really? What has he ever provided you besides shade? The Flintstones represents the last feature film role of Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, she plays Fred's evil mother-in-law, who we all love from the cartoons. I think a lot of people like to point to this as sort of a sad fact, but Elizabeth Taylor is having a great time. If you watch this movie, she is giving it her all. I mean, she was around when the Flintstones were around. Who knows, she might have been a fan. And uh, she really has a great time. Well, let's not let a little thing like this spoil the party. Conga line. She also agreed to do the movie on the condition that the premiere, all the funds from it would go to her AIDS charity. So she was doing it for a good cause. I mean, who doesn't want a, a visual of a big dinosaur eating Elizabeth Taylor? <laughs> She really, really makes a meal of this role, and it's a, a really fun way to remember her. Who said money doesn't buy happiness? An interesting thing about John Goodman starring in The Flintstones is he had known that he was going to have to do this for a long time. When he started work on the Steven Spielberg movie, always, Spielberg declared to the whole crew, I have found my Fred Flintstone. And apparently the movie would not go forward if John Goodman didn't do it. He uh, didn't really want to. He does a great job, I think. And he later admitted it was a pretty fun movie to do. But yeah, it was kind of a weird, bitter pill for him to swallow, just looking exactly like Fred Flintstone. But when Steven Spielberg declares you are Fred Flintstone, you kind of have to do it. Fred's no Albert Einstein, but you never know. He may surprise you. Well, maybe. I mean, he has been studying day and night. Oh, I know. I've never seen him so excited about something that you couldn't spread mayonnaise on. Ha, 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 